former Diamond Award winner Tractable has succeeded in taking AI from the lab to the real world, reaching human expert performance. Tractable develops proprietary AI algorithms that can learn and perform visual expert tasks in accident and disaster recovery. Their leading estimating tools allow insurers to improve accuracy, reduce turnaround time and deliver a revamped customer claims experience. Next on stage, Tractable. My name is uh, Adrian, co-founder of Tractable. We are an artificial intelligence company. We use AI to help the world recover from accidents and disasters. Uh, well, I'm Robin Challenge. I'm the claims director of Aegeus UK, uh, one of the UK's largest general insurers and part of uh, a worldwide group operating in 14 different countries. In the UK, we have over five, uh, five million customers and we look to protect their cars, homes and businesses. Now, car accidents are overwhelming, sometimes even traumatizing. Going through the claim process is very long and tedious. Every year, a hundred millions of lives are affected globally by car accidents. Now, our belief is that when accidents hit, the response could be 10 times faster, thanks to AI. Our belief is that thanks to AI, claims can be settled faster and livelihoods restored. Now, we are here to show you today how Tractable and AGS have been working together to make this a reality and to deeply simplify and accelerate the claim journey. Now, assessing damage to the car is a crucial step, as we all know, to unlock funds and process the claim. It underpins our entire collision ecosystem. Now, as some of you may remember, we were here on stage a year ago at DI Munich, and at the time, we, we uploaded a few photos to the AI in the cloud, showed you really the bare metal algorithms. We showed you how the AI was making sense of those photos. Now, I remember telling you that the AI was continuously learning and that you know, soon it would be really hard to stop it. Now, fast forward one year, we're back to show you what it has become. Now, for context, many think that the industry is still years away from AI creating instant estimate that can be served up to the customer or the claim handler. We are here with Robin today to tell you that this has already happened, that our AI is now live in claim operation at AGS, creating end-to-end -end estimates that often do not need to be corrected by a human. So at AGS, um, we want to make our claims journey as personal and easy as possible for the customer. We want to take the friction out of the claims journey. We don't want to create delay, um, hesitation in how we actually resolve the claim. And that's why we um, looked to pioneer this technology in our first notification of loss team. So the team where the claim, the claim is initially reported um, to understand how we can use the technology to actually take some of that, that, that stress out of the claims journey. So without further ado, why don't we take a look at how the technology actually works today? So it all starts um, with a simple series of photos that, that the customer uh, uh, uploads following the accident, done via their mobile phone. Via the app, the tractable, the tractable system guides the customer through which photos to take. And as you can see on the screen, capturing all the different elements of the damage to the, to the vehicle. What we, then, what we then see is in the background, we're making sure that the images are corrected, collected are correct and give us enough detail to build an, an estimate. So if, the, if the, um, the quality, so quality assurance is really important to actually how we build, build the app and the, the information we deliver. So in this example, um, the image of the front bumper wasn't clear enough, the image of the damage wasn't clear enough. So we actually asked the customer to upload some additional images to give us that additional richness of data to be able to build an estimate. Now, you know, once the photos are uploaded, the AI quickly breaks down the repair operations, panel by panel, in real time. So here we're going to see what actually happens in the back end. Now let's see the AI in action. Now I'm going to pause to make sure that we are able to actually follow the speed of the AI. Here this is just a step one. So as you've seen in a few seconds, the AI has gone through the photos that were received from the policyholder 
And as a first step, it's identified all the key parts that are present on the pictures with no other input than the photos themselves. Now, obviously, it doesn't stop here. The next step is where the expertise of the AI really kicks in. We're going to now ask the AI to go through the photo one more time, look at the damage severity, and tell us what are the right repair operation, just like a car appraisal. I'm going to pause again. Here, step two, the AI has gone through those images, and it's already assessed four parts, the front bumper, the bonnet, the front right wing, and the grille. So if we zoom in on the front bumper, the AI has looked at the damage and has decided that A, the part has to be replaced, B, it's given us a breakdown of the labor hours that are needed to refit the part and to paint it. And finally, it's pulled from industry partners the price of the part, here 287 pounds. And it keeps going like that over and over again, part by part. Which parts are present? You know, what, what's the right repair operation? What's the labor time needed to fit the part? Any blend or paint work necessary? And the associated cost until the full estimate is ready. This uh, is a technology called breakthrough. All of the complex manual tasks that are normally carried out by uh, the appraiser can now be done in a few seconds. Now, if you take a step back, this is an AI that has learned to understand claims just like an expert. It has seen millions of cases, and it's now able to make sense of damages to thousands of parts, regardless of the car model and regardless of how it's been photographed. It has become truly universal. Now, we'd have loved to uh, have brought our, our claims team along to demonstrate this in, in, in real time. But what, what the technologies are doing is allowing our, our claims handlers to make real-time data-driven decisions uh, as they're talking to the customer. And they're able to present that customer both to the, to, to, to the customer and to our repairers. And, and this is the first step in the project Retractable. And as we continue through the pilot, we will continue to develop how we use the data with our customer journey to take friction out of the process. We're already seeing benefits from the, way, from the way the technology works. So for example, we're able to identify for vehicles a total loss during that initial reporting of a claim, and that allows us to make decisions where we, where we send the vehicle. If the vehicle is repairable, we're able to send the estimate that the tractable is completed to the repairer who can start ordering parts in advance of the vehicle arriving, and it will shorten the repair time. And eventually, we think we'll be able to make settlements, particularly of total losses, in real time at that first notification of loss call, which is a real step change. So we have a data-driven model that is continuing to learn from the way, way, way Tractable learns and continues to evolve, which allows us to make the right decision at the right time in the right way for our customers. So where does this take us? By making the right decision at the right time, AGS is already able to reduce their operational cost. The use of Tractable can you know, generate up to 500 pounds of savings per claim process. That, this is a critical competitive edge in an industry where pressure and margins are so high. But where we're truly excited, where we think this will have the biggest impact, is on customer satisfaction and retention. This is about putting a visual expert on every person's phone so that when accidents hit, when things get damaged, this expert is here to help you make the claim and recover faster. Thank you.